YouTube. Welcome to Four Days Out. Gotta keep winning. I gotta keep winning. I gotta keep winning. 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 Oh. Gotta keep winning. I gotta keep winning. All right, let's jump right into it. I hope everybody's having a good morning today or just a good day in general. Not sure what time you're watching this. But I'm having a good day, man. Woke up on the right side of the bed. Feeling good, man. Feeling super good. Uh, weight is at 183.4, I believe. And I'm not looking too bad, man. I'm not looking too bad if I say so myself. Of course, I like you got you guys' feedback. So if you could, drop some comments below after you finish watching this. And uh, let me know what you think about the physique four days out, man. And especially compared to... This overall prep, we've been through ups, downs, weight has been over here, weight has been over there. Oh man, it's rough. It's been a rough road, I will say. It's been rough. Uh, probably less stressful if I had a coach of some sort, but I want to do this on my own, man. I want to learn my body for itself. I don't want to be spending a lot of money for a coach and have to pay for the show and have to buy all these groceries, <laughs> supplements, you know, so feeling good looking good man I, I love to do a hit a few poses in the morning because this is essentially how I wake up you know on show day you wake up fasted in the morning uh, no liquids in you fresh after you know a piss or a dump or however you do your mornings but this is how you wake up and you see how you look first thing in the morning and that's how you can gauge your progress you know over the course of the week over the course of the days First thing in the morning is the best physique to me to gauge your progress. So that's why I hit the poses in the morning, man. I, and I love seeing progress. I love, I love, love, love seeing progress, man. I, so I wake up today and look in the mirror. Before I flex, I can see the abs. And then once I flex, the abs are just super defined, getting way, way better. Uh, of course, the way I'm eating is having a big effect on that you know the low carbs the tilapia i threw in some fiber yesterday i don't think i'll be getting enough fiber in but no i know i haven't been getting enough fiber in so i had to go buy some fiber powder which i have been throwing in oh well, i started throwing yesterday i've also upped my fish oil intake to three servings a day starting yesterday so three servings of that Everything's just working out well, man. I'm also eating natural peanut butter, none of that Jif, Peter Pan, or anything like that. Just natural peanut butter. It tastes super good, and I usually get uh, a tablespoon or two before I go to bed. So, just feeling good, man. Looking good, feeling good. And I'm just in, I'm just in a good space right now. And normally, you will see a lot of competitors down on this week and just drained and moving around. Not saying I won't be later on. But I'm just feeling super good, you know. Uh, I'm on low carb, and I've been low carb for at least four days now. This is probably the fourth day of low carb, which is 50 and under. But I'm still just feeling good. I can't. There's not really too much to complain about, and I think I'm feeling good because I see the progress. If I didn't see progress, I'd probably be down, depressed. But I'm actually removing all that bullshit depression, like all that like sob story crap. I'm just in a good space. Stress will uh, cause you to hold on to water and your cortisol levels and all that kind of shit like that. So you definitely want to try to minimize the stress as best as you can. So I'm feeling good, guys. I'm feeling super good. I'm, I also dropped the caffeine. Not overdoing the caffeine in the morning. Just about a cup and a half. Starting yesterday, of course, a cup and a half. And that's just to reduce inflammation if there was any. Um, any type of extra cellulite or any type of thing on my stomach, you know, all that kind of kind of thing. So caffeine will definitely affect that kind of stuff. So you want to eliminate too much caffeine. There is a correct dosage that you know everybody should be getting, but you don't want to overdo it. So come back on the caffeine. Uh, meals are pretty pretty well spaced out. Um, I got my tilapia, of course. You guys know today I'm up. I'm removing all of the egg whites. The egg whites had, you know, egg whites contain a lot of sodium. 
I don't want as much sodium as, as, as I've been getting. I want to drop my sodium back down to normal levels, which is around 15 to 2,000 uh, milligrams. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring my it's going to bring my sodium down to normal levels, and then come show day, I'm gonna spike it back up, and we're gonna see a nice increase in vascularity and whatnot. So, if you don't know, previously I have sodium uh, loaded, I guess you can call it. So, probably starting around 10 days out, I was getting in a big amount of sodium, large amount of sodium. I was salting up all my foods. Uh, salting up all my meals. I was getting in a lot. I don't I didn't track it. I wish I did It got real nitpicky with it, but I pretty much was just adding salt a shitload of salt to all my meals And now I'm not so and I'm also cutting out the sodium the high sodium foods like uh, You know chicken has a lot of sodium in it. I did cut the chicken out uh, Tuna has a lot of sodium in it uh, what else in the egg white so I cut all those out and that's why I'm doing tilapia just only tilapia uh, about five meals of tilapia a day so today I had to up it from five and a half ounces to seven ounces spread out in five meals and still doing a hundred grams of broccoli now if I was to get hungry I can up the vegetable intake maybe 150 grams but the tilapia fills me up and it's pretty good so the tilapia, seven ounces is a good portion, and I can still do 100 grams of uh, vegetables to be good to go. So I'm only st I'm sticking to the broccoli for right now. Uh, it's been working, and I like it, and I love the taste of it, especially the way I cook it up. I usually broil it, season it up however best I want to. And the broccoli does have a lot of sodium in it as well because I did season it up a bit. So I'm running out of so uh, broccoli now, so my next batch of broccoli that I whip up will not contain all that sodium you know uh, I will use less seasoning if any just probably stick to salt and pepper and that's about it but yeah feeling super good uh, I did make my son and I usually always make my son a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the morning which kills me because the peanut butter and the bread just smells so good let alone looking at that jelly oh man the things the things you crave when you're like uh, getting closer to the show not once have I ever craved a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but making these sandwiches these last few days is like tearing me apart. <laughs> I will not lie. So that's that, man. I still, hey, at the end of the day, still got to do my father thing. Still got to, you know, fix up his meals along with my meals. And we still got to get it in, man. Can't, can't stop all that. So, yeah, just to update you guys on, you know, the current training and the cardio and whatnot. I did up the cardio a bit. I moved it from 40 minutes and now it's back at 60 minutes, which has pretty much been uh, through the end of this prep, probably like four weeks out, I was doing 60 minutes of cardio. So I went back to that. Uh, I'm also doing my cardio post-workout as well, some hit cardio, 15 minutes. But uh, as far as the morning cardio go, fasted, uh, I'm not drinking any BCAAs, doing my, doing my cardio, and you guys know where I stand on BCAAs when you're fasted. It will spike your insulin levels and you will not be fasting anymore. So I do want to be fasted for the entirety of the mo on the morning. And I start eating around lunchtime. So I, I cut out the BCAAs. It's not a big deal. I'm not going to lose muscle in these last, what, five days? I mean, I mean, come on, you're not going to gain muscle in, four, in five days. So you're definitely not going to lose it that fast either. Um, I, mean, I mean, I still drink my BCAAs uh, doing my weightlifting training. So... I just cut it out fast at cardio and I play around with the incline as well and I've also went from three miles per hour to three and a half miles per hour which I feel is a better pace to keep my heart rate up and you know to keep just uh, just burning you know burning that fat so those are the changes I made from a fast to cardio but anyways man, I'm on my way to work right now about to pull up to the job uh, I'm gonna check back with you guys uh, around lunchtime when I go train Today is an upper body day, and we'll be pushing, so I'm going to hit you up around that time. Alright YouTube, it is post-workout time, 
post-workout posing. You guys know how I usually do it. Uh, no, I did not record the workout. You guys know my stance on that right now. Uh, working on these de depleting uh, workouts is real tough. I'm on time crunch, lunch time. I really want to get it done. You guys know I do my 30 minute sauna session, pre-workout, get the heart rate boost. And then you know I do uh, upper body today, which every body part was hit and it pretty much did a big circuit. Uh, every upper body uh, group, muscle group. And then now we're doing the post. Oh, and now I also did my hit cardio, 15 minutes post-workout. So getting a lot, man, getting a lot done. Uh, spending, a, spending a little bit more time in the gym, but you know, I really focus on this last bit of fat. Uh, around this time before contest, it's, it's real, it's real strategic, man. And it gets, it gets mind-boggling. It's, it's a lot that goes into it, man. But if you are ready, three weeks prior to the show, you would have no problem, and you want to do what I'm doing. But of course, you guys know that I don't think I'm super ready, so I'm doing a little extra. Uh, it's not recommended, but I am doing a little extra, and uh, just trying to remove the last bit of fat, like I said. So. I'm feeling good on how I look right now, though, post-workout. I like to compare my uh, morning physique with my post-workout physique because the workout is pretty much a pump workout, you know? We do about four to five sets, 12 to 15 reps on each body part. And it's pretty much like what we're gonna be doing backstage. Probably a little lighter, lighter weight, of course, because I'll be using probably some resistance bands, but pretty much it's pretty the same, man. You're getting a pump. So that's what I did, got the, got the pump in, got the blood flowing, and now we're doing a post posing. And I will probably look like this on stage, you know? Granted, it's a couple it's a couple more days, but I will look like this on stage, meaning like being pumped up, you know? But I also have more car. I will have more carbs in me, of course. So uh, yeah, I like to compare it, and I think I look pretty good. You guys can let me know what you guys think. Uh, I, I hit numerous poses. I usually go through my routine at least uh, once or twice. And then I just throw in a few bodybuilding poses, a few fitness poses to, you know, really look at the abs. And, you know, I, I like the way I look. That's, <laughs> that's another reason why I like to pose. I just like to see myself in the mirror, man. It is what it is. I'm sure I am not the only one out there who likes to look at themselves in the mirror. Come on. I mean, we work out. We get these veins popping. And then... When we start looking real, real nice. Of course, we want to look at ourselves in the mirror. You got to be obsessed with your physique, man. That's the only way you're going to really appreciate what you got and what you're working for, you know? So, that's pretty much that, man. It's time for me to get some food in me, though, man. Uh, fasted, you know, I, before I go to the gym, I always have my coconut oil. About 11.30, I have 10 milliliters of coconut oil. And that's about it, man. That's about my BCAAs. A few scoops of that throughout the workout. And pretty much no food, no whole foods, man. I gotta get some whole foods in me, man. Your brother hungry, man. So I'm about to get in here right now. I'm at the job now, just pulled up. About to go in here and get some tilapia. Uh, I got some broccoli, no egg whites. We cut out the egg whites. Sodium, we're bringing it down. And uh, I'm gonna have my fish oils, of course. But uh, yeah, that's what we gotta do, man. I'm starving right now. I'm hungry. I like that, I like to be hungry. Uh, when I'm hungry, I know that, hey, something's working. My metabolism is uh, is there, you know. It's not super, super slow. I'm hungry. I want to be hungry. And that's what you pretty much want. You don't want to be walking around not hungry. Some people do, but uh, I like to be hungry. And then once I'm hungry, I eat some more. So usually every two to three hours. So let's get in here and get this food, man. I'm going to check back with you guys later. All right, so meal prep tonight. I went to the store. I had to grab me some top tilapia. Sorry, six pounds, man. Six pounds of tilapia. I believe. Let me see if I have the other one in here. Uh, nope. So yep, six pounds. As you see, I couldn't get it all on my trays, but that's okay. I'm gonna grab some. Oh, check out the subs. I'm gonna grab some white rice for tomorrow. We're carving up tomorrow, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep some rice. I also have some sweet potatoes down there getting cooked up. What I did was I peeled them prior to putting them in, so I peeled them first and then I threw them in there, so make life simple. Because we're cutting back on that sodium, 
I'm not gonna season, season them up too much. I'm gonna just do some pepper, a little bit of Old Bay. So, cut back on the sodium.